Well, it's been rather marvellous to witness Team GB returning from the recent Tokyo Olympics covered in glory. A shed load of medals and a whole bunch of new heroes to celebrate to boot. And of course, with the Paralympics starting, there's more to come. But it's no use being the fastest runner on the track if you're headed in completely the wrong direction. No medals to be won there, of course. And rather tragically, it would seem that so many people alive today, arguably the majority of people alive today, are headed in the wrong direction. Now, I've not met too many committed atheists, those with a well thought through and considered belief that there is no God. Most people, I would guess, are what we would call agnostics. They don't really know, not really thought much about it. But out of these, a lot would say, do you know what, yes, I do believe. I believe in God. They believe as they look around that this world can't just have come together by coincidence, that there must be some kind of higher power out there, up there, somewhere. And certainly when it comes to losing a loved one, well then there is a, a very clear thought that there is a better place that they've gone to where they are resting in peace. Belief, yes, but no, they don't want to be committed to any particular faith system. They don't want to be obedient to any particular teaching and instruction. Perhaps they feel if they let a God into their lives, then he will change them, ask them to move out of their comfort zone, get them to do things they don't particularly enjoy. Or maybe they've been hurt by the institutional religion of the day or people that represent it. Or maybe they look round and think they can't quite make sense of a God out there and all that's happening here on planet Earth. Maybe it just doesn't fit. But nevertheless, there is an appetite for things spiritual. It might be crystals, it may be uh, stars in the sky, it may even be special stones, but whatever it is, they're still searching. And perhaps not so much despite all of this, but because of all of this, we have a golden opportunity to introduce them to the love of the God of the Bible, to introduce them to the logic that is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, to show them that if they read the newspaper, they can see what's going on, but if they read the Bible, they will understand why. Sadly, too many people are living their life, running a race that's leading them in the wrong direction, where not only will there no be, be no medals, but no better place, and certainly no resting in peace. Well, I don't know what you reckon about believing in God, but all of this, surely, is worth a thought. This Sunday, we're going to be looking at how God can turn around the lives of even the most unlikely people. You're most welcome to join us. We are just ordinary people who believe and trust in an extraordinary God. But for now, do take care, stay safe, and thank you for listening.